Hello, I'm Marjolaine Watts, author of Unwanted Visitor, the series. Tonight I will be reading from my most waited for book, Love Hurts, co-written by Keita Brown. Tonight I will be reading from Chapter 8, Love Burns. Clarence, you were the only doctor who didn't over-medicate me or talk to me as if I was crazy. You took me to the hospital indoor garden and read to me, snuck me out for lunches and bought me a gift, a small black box that you told me I couldn't open until I was completely cured. After a year, you insisted I call you Clarence. I remember all the nurses in the hospital were jealous and used to give me dirty looks when you'd come to see me at night before you leave. I didn't believe all the praises about your new work in psychiatry until my nightmares finally stopped. I remember when my sessions ended and how sad I was to leave the hospital until you showed up at my house to check up on me, you said. My daughters immediately liked you. You took me to dinner and we ate filet mignon and drank champagne. After you drove me home and we parked outside, I remember how slow and gentle you were when you held me in your arms because you knew I didn't trust men. Then you slowly placed your lips on the back of my neck. The scent of your lemon spice cologne lingered on the nap of my dress. That night, you told me I was your future and I believed I now had a future. That's right, Trish. Continue, Clarence said. Trish, the voice cut in, you are as stupid as you look. Don't you know that every memory you've created with this imposter of a doctor is all a bunch of lies? There was no reading in the garden, no steak dinner, and definitely no champagne. Ever ask yourself how you remember his lips kissing your neck when you can barely let him touch you while you're awake? I don't care how many pills you take or how many sessions you go through. I'm going to find my way back and end this. I felt my body twitching and squirming. No, stop it. This isn't real. You're not real, I said. I felt his presence pressing in on me, holding me still. Now you listen here, Trish Jenkins. It's my turn to create a memory for you, one you'll never forget, and this is how it goes. As you stand staring into those big brown eyes of the loving doctor, he caresses your bare shoulders, then lifts your veil and lean in to kiss you. You close your eyes, waiting to feel his warm breath upon your lips, but instead, you feel a hard tug on your right hand. Your eyes pop open, and you witness the good dog as he snatches the engagement ring off your finger and shoves it in that little black box you've made a shrine out of on your dresser. That's right. You thought I didn't know about it. Huh. The guest gasps. Your daughters dropped their flowers and ran away crying. Their tears turned into drops of dirty brown rain, covering you like a shower of shame. You remember the feeling of shame, don't you, Trish? Outside of my dream world, I felt my lips moving. Clarence, why is this happening? You said you loved me. I heard Clarence yell. Trish, what's going on? Your pulse is spiking. Talk to me. Come back. But there was no coming back. The unwanted visitor broke into my safe, dark place. On the outside, I felt Clarence shaking me. My body began squirming and seizing. On the, other, on the inside, there were peering eyes and loud whispers from all the guests in the church. The voice continues, oh, I'm not finished with you yet, Miss Trish. 
After the good doctor tucks away your ring, you break free. Then throw the bouquet at him, and it bursts into flames, burning him up right in front of your eyes. Clarence, you're on fire. I'm scared. I think I'm going to die in here, I yell. The voice declares, yes, yes, you are, Trish. I didn't know who or what was to believe. They were both coming at me from all directions. I looked up at the front of the cathedral and caught a glimpse of Jesus on the cross. God, I thought I could do this on my own. Will you leave me here to die? Again, I'm Marjolaine Watts, author of Unwanted Visitor, the series. If you care to read more of what you just heard, stop by bestbookkindle.co and grab your copy. Thank you. Be blessed.